one in eight women will develop breast cancer invasive over the course of their lifetime, and 85% or more of these women will have no family history of breast cancer. Breast cancer represents the most common and most prevalent cancer in the world, and one out of every four cancers in women are breast cancer. The United States sees almost 300,000 invasive breast cancers diagnosed every year. Almost uh, 2.2 million cases worldwide now, so we're going to see a very big increase in the next decade. The earlier that we find a cancer, the more treatable it is. Small cancers are highly treatable. The larger cancers that present when women don't have mammograms are really much more difficult to treat and have much worse outcomes. The iBreast tool is a special device that allows for the identification of what corresponds to lumps that one would feel in the breast. And so it's very much a, a tool that's in alignment with clinical breast exam, but it appears to be quite a bit easier to learn. iBreast exam is a handheld telehealth device that has been clinically proven to detect small palpable tumors without pain or radiation. The iBreast exam device is based on a principle of tactile examination. Just like your fingers have pads and feel things, this device does the same thing. It does it electronically and reproducibly. I use it in my clinic side by side with my exam to try to test the performance. And we see that in trained hands, I'm pretty good, but the device is also pretty good. And so the device has very similar characteristics to a well-trained clinical breast exam. It can be learned without being a radiologist and it can be applied by healthcare workers. And so that really lowers the barrier to access. Having worked with the eye breast exam for a number of years, I'm extremely impressed by its role in clinical breast exam and has the opportunity to provide for much more consistent use of routine annual breast examination. The eye breast exam, unlike clinical exam, goes to the smartphone and can be saved and reproduced. It can also be accessed by experts for interpretation and it can be compared from year to year. The eye breast exam can be in any office, any healthcare provider, nurse practitioner, physician, rural, urban, and, and all women will have easy access to this inexpensive and highly predictive device. The device can be used side by side with clinical breast exam. The beauty of it is it's gonna save that result and the next time you come back, you can have a comparison. And it'll be something that goes into the electronic medical record. When the patient does arrive for the next step in screening, there's a finding which breast it's in, what part of the breast, they know where to do the ultrasound, biopsy, whatever the next step is gonna be. There's mounting clinical evidence now looking at the efficacy of eye breast exam alongside either standard mammography, ultrasound, combinations of ultrasound and mammography, or a clinical breast exam. These have been done in a lot of different countries around the globe, showing that when you use the eye breast exam device for screening, that we can detect the women who don't need additional screening. That's been reported as a reliable and high negative predictive value. And we're very excited about it as a first line screener for women with dense breasts, younger women. I looked at the results of the eye breast exam compared to the mammographic results and what we did and didn't see and the correlation. And in asymptomatic women who were coming in for screening, it was highly predictive of masses that were not palpable. The eye breast appears to be a safe tool for use in a setting where one would be using clinical breast exam for triage. And there were no cancers that were found on clinical breast exam that were missed by eye breast. That is a very promising finding. The eye breast exam has the ability to change the paradigm for screening in breast cancer. That is correct. The eye breast exam is more likely to find smaller masses than a routine clinical examination. This eye breast exam makes it possible for nonprofit charities such as Rotary International to bring early detection of breast cancer to low income communities, underserved communities, and communities that are right now below the radar in terms of healthcare. We see this as an epoch making change in the delivery of healthcare. If I were on the front lines in a GYN office, in a primary care office, in a low or middle income country on the front lines in a village working out of a Jeep. I would want at least this technology in my hands to help improve the accuracy of my screening evaluation of my patients. Already, iBreast exam has benefited over 400,000 women in over 10 countries 
and it's FDA cleared as a breast lesion documentation tool. The World Health Organization has recognized it as an innovative health technology. In a soon to publish independent study by Memorial Sloan's Kettering Cancer Center in Nigeria, iBreast exam in the hands of nursing students was able to detect breast lesions with similar sensitivity and negative predictive value as compared to breast exam by a expert surgeon. We are excited and proud of our collaboration with Pfizer Pharma to bring access of early detection of breast cancer along with effective treatment to women globally. Over a million women are soon to receive a breast examination with the help of iBreast exam, many of them for the very first time. We believe that iBreast exam has the potential to downstage breast cancer and potentially improve survival in the long run. Our hope is that iBreast exam can make access to early detection of breast cancer possible for women everywhere.